Okay, guys. So uh, we continue with our uh, built-in functions on the arrays, and uh, we are dealing with functions that deal with uh, the rearrangement and the sorting of arrays. And today we want to see two functions, and this will be the end of sorting and rearrangement of arrays built-in functions. So um, we want to see the function sort and the function unique. Well, what does these do? Uh, suppose you have a scenario where, and this scenario happens so, so many times. Oh my God, I can't possibly begin to enumerate the number of times it occurs. Where you want to arrange numbers in ascending or in descending order, right? Uh, the sort function helps you do just that, right? So say we have V, a vector V, which is what we have there and i hope that you guys have noticed that we have upgraded we are no longer in matlab 2014 but 2018 maybe by the end of the tutorial we'll be in 2020 who knows <laughs> so uh we have v which is this uh vector and we want to rearrange it in uh ascending order okay well to do that we'll just use the sort function in matlab and we'll say sort of v so what sort of V will do is to arrange it in, as you can see, in uh, ascending order, right? Now, what if we want to arrange this in descending order? Well, for that, as usual, MATLAB has us covered, right? So all we need to do is to add another parameter, right, which will be a, a string or a, a chain of character that indicates that we want a vector arranged in either ascending or descending order, okay? So, the way we'll do that is to just say sort of V, comma, and we indicate what we want, okay? So, descend, right? And that should arrange it in descending order. So, you see that here is in ascending order from the smallest to the largest, and here, descending order from the largest to the smallest and uh, the next thing you can also just say ascend here okay it will do exactly exactly what it does by default but no need to do this if it already does by default you just need to write this short code and uh, and everything is all right okay so uh basically this is what we want to know that's what the sort function does okay rearranging rearranges elements in ascending or descending order so now, what if we apply it in uh, a given array, say A, uh, let's put it numbers varying to 10, and we have wanted 4 by 4, okay? So what if we say sort of A, what does it do? Okay, so what will you notice? As usual, by default, when you say sort of A, okay, it will just rearrange it column by column, right? So this will be 2. 10 10 10 it has rearranged this this column in the ascending order this other one in ascending order amongst itself this other one in ascending order and this other one in ascending order right you'll notice that following the rules they are still in any given order okay so if we want to rearrange it in ascending or descending order following the rules all we need to do is to indicate the dimension right Good. So this will be in ascending order, sorry, following the rules, as you can see. Okay, so now it is, let me let me put A again here so that we can compare. You see that now it is 1, 5, 10, 10, right? And then this way, uh, 2, 9, 8, 9. What? Okay, sorry, I'm, I'm looking at the wrong thing. 2, 8, 9, 9. I was shocked. And here 2, 10, 10. And here 5, 7. So it has rearranged it now according to, to the row dimension. Okay. So what if we want to uh, organize the elements in descending order, not in ascending order? Well, we'll just apply the same previous formula, right? Uh, we'll just say instead of V here, we'll just say A. Okay, and we indicate the direction a comma descending order, right? And that will be that. So you see that now it is 10, uh, 10 and 2, right? Not 2, 10, but 10, 2. And here 9, 5, 5, 2. So now it is from the largest to the smallest uh, column by column. Uh, 
uh, what if we want to do it following the rules? Then we'll just indicate the dimension here, a comma two, before saying descend, okay? And then row by row, let me put a here again. Uh, you can see that it has organized row by row from the largest number to the smallest numbers. Okay, so that's cool. That's cool. So that's all we want to say about sort. The next function we want to see is unique. Okay, written U N I Q U E. So what unique does is that it rearranges the elements of a particular array in the ascending order, but then, but then. It uh, isolates uh, every element to appear just once. So, let me give a practical example of this. Uh, let's let's start back with v. We'll say v is equal to Randy. Randy of uh, I'll say five comma one comma five for example. Good. That's perfect. It, we have a lot of fours that are appearing here. You see that four appears here several times. So if I say sort of V, okay, what does it do? One, two, four, 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 okay? So this is as opposed to unique of V. Which does just one, two, four. So you see that it reorganizes the elements of a particular array, but then it makes sure it makes sure that every number appears only once. This can be very, very, very handy. So let's try to see what unique does. Matrix like like A, okay? Unique of A. Good. So you see that unique will just look at all of the elements, all of the elements found in A, and then reorganize them in in ascending order, okay? So, many times, if you want this in descending order, you can always uh, just swap, right? You can always just swap using something like flip. So, if I want this in descending order, I can say, for example, flip UD, flip that we saw in the previous tutorial, uh, flip up down of, uh, of unique of A, right? And uh, this should rearrange this in descending order from 10 right down to 1 okay good so uh these functions can be very very useful okay so what i'm doing now is just showing you the functions in matlab and what they do okay now uh, the difficulty in matlab many times is not necessarily to show what it does but to be able to know what to apply uh when you're given a particular exercise what functions to apply at what level to get the results that you need and we have a lot of applications to look to be able to to implement all of this for now we we'll focus on the principles so uh see you in the next video which will actually be the last on built-in functions with arrays